5,000 machines per annum capacity which will be operational in the next two years. The company is also looking at further order inflows in the EMS segment which can contribute 20 to 25% of the total top line in FY26. Well, before we wrap up on the show, let's uh, set you up for the next trading session. Well, Vamakshi joins us to help us out with all the key market events we need to be tracking. Vamakshi, over to you. Well, absolutely, Nigel. It's a midweek holiday for all of us, uh, so definitely a truncated week coming in. But apart from that, there's a lot of important cues to watch out for. First up is the UK CPI data that will be released tomorrow. Apart from that, the US crude oil inventories data is also expected to come through. Now, coming to the uh, to the next trading session, that is November 21st, we will be keeping an eye out on the initial jobless claims that come through from the US markets. Uh, as far as stock-specific cues are concerned, Tomorrow, TARC will be considering fundraising via NCDs. UPL, a board meet, is scheduled tomorrow to determine price, entitlement and dates for the rights issue. And uh, there are some other important cues to watch out for as well. Uh, keep in mind that a part of SEBI's FNO norms will come into effect from November 20, that is tomorrow. And uh, the yeah, ASEAN uh, Defence Ministers Plus meetings are expect is expected to be held in Laos from November 20th uh, to November 22nd. Okay, thank you so much for that, Vamakshi. But with that, it's a wrap on this edition of Market Forward on CNBC TV 18. Thank you so much for tuning in. And don't go anywhere. More news and updates after the break.